Hello again. Look at this. This is what I have to deal with all day. Hi, Benny. All right. Benny, come on. So I'm pretty much done with this. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna get the damn dog off me. Um, uh, finding some of this information is a little more difficult than I would like, and quite frankly, uh, I feel I have enough information and common sense to know that uh, capitalism does not suck. It's you people that suck, the ones who cry about it, and. It's crazy because the more – when you look up general financial stuff now, you can't help but find articles that mention or hint about this great reset. So whether or not it's going to come to fruition is another thing because I guess that it's been in the talk for years now, and I'm talking years. So, but, um, so this is just some of the stuff that I found. All right. United States, 331 million pop, 10.5% poverty, it comes about, about 34 million. The poverty line, it varies a little bit by state. These are the averages, though. 12,760 for one, 44,000 for eight. Uh, average salary, roughly about 50 grand, 18.6 millionaires. Now, the billionaire number, I changed it. It's lower because I found a more updated article. And 65% average home ownership. So, uh, and then we come to China. I averaged that 2.5%. Those were the old numbers, though, because I was going to try and graph this. But, uh, nah, fuck it. Uh, now, the poverty line, when it comes to uh, these numbers amongst these Asian countries, okay, these are kind of varied because... The dollar amount per day that a country determines to live by varies by source. So you can take these numbers. I mean, they're – I'm not trying to downplay the numbers or upplay them, okay? I'm just reporting what I found. And these numbers seem pretty accurate to things that I found. And honestly, I, I gave a lot of uh, – leeway with them and i over kind of over exaggerated them so but these are just american dollar numbers too they're converted so same thing now the average salaries that i got here for all these countries they all come from the same source so um i think it was salary survey or something i mean it's easy when you type in what's the salary average salary of a certain country it's like the first or second one down and you can literally just type in the entire list so uh, amount of millionaires, so still U.S. and China, and then Russia. I put Russia down here, 200,000, but um, the number is extremely small for Tanzania. Now, Tanzania, though, is another weird one because uh, one article that I read, it's called the, what was it, the poorest corrupt rich country for banking something along those lines but uh apparently it only has one billionaire and vietnam only has four from what i could find but then when you start coming down to all these countries home ownership rates are extremely difficult to find uh because the state controls everything or some of these i just didn't even bother looking up because i'm just Portugal, I didn't look up Portugal, and I've been to Lisbon, Portugal. I think it's awesome there. I loved it, so I got nothing bad to say about Portugal, but uh, things like North Korea, you're not going to find it because the state owns it. Russia, Russia's a little weird, and I would think for all the Russian trolls on here, maybe I can get some info from you guys, but um, one article I read said only 1% of the population owns their own land. Because the government owns it. And it's the same thing with um, you you don't you can't save any of your own money in like a private account. The state owns everything there. And that ties into a lot of why people think Vladimir Putin is the richest person in the world, even though it's not on paper, because I mean he did take over. When it, Putin came to power, I mean he completely took over the ruble, but that's a whole nother story, so um 
So yeah, just when you compare this stuff, I mean, you can do your own research. If you think capitalism sucks, then I don't know what to tell you. That's that liberal indoctrinated college education you have that's bullshit. So at least my college education, I had to earn it myself and uh, didn't have a liberal-minded moron professors or anything like that. So Because I wouldn't listen to them anyways. But there you go. And to close this out, you know, I would like to quote the Wolf of Wall Street. Um, you know, when they're doing their little infomercial and the one dude's like, uh, Jordan Belfort's system worked for me. And if it didn't work for you, that's because you're broke and you should probably work at McDonald's. And that's how I feel. If you hate capitalism so much, go work at McDonald's for three years and tell me how good your life is. Because that's a clear, that's a good indication. If you think... Socialism is going to be better for you. Go work at a fast food place for three years and document it. Do a documentary on it. I bet you would get a lot of people interested. Me too. And talk about how little you can have. Talk about how little you could afford and the size home that you're living in. You're probably going to be living in the ghetto in an apartment, a one-bedroom studio, if that. So... Uh, that's my deal. If, if you think capitalism sucks, it doesn't. It's you that sucks.